Hi and welcome to Wars in Nerd 74. In today's video I like to go through the modifications I did on the drivetrain of my Choiceway Rocket 26. I'm going to give you some data and show you all the modifications which are needed to install the components I used. First of all let's have a look at the motor. The reason for changing the motor is that my previous motor I used was simply too hot after only one or two minutes of running. This was the Razer Star BR2835. The issue was that it hasn't enough torque to keep relatively cool, so it went pretty hot and it worked no problem at all, but you have to take care about the temperature of this motor. Now I have a way longer motor, this produces much more torque than the Racer Star motor I used before. This motor is from AliExpress, it's originally made for electric ducted fans. I hope this will work, not tested yet, so I hope for good weather in the next few days so I can do some test runs and for sure also do a video about the test runs. It's a 2848 size motor, stator length is 27 millimeters, it has 3500 kV and around 900 watts of maximum power. More information you can find in the link in the video description which give you the shop link of AliExpress. The mounting holes of the motor are perfect for the Choiceway Rocket 26. You have a 19 mm diameter and on the other side 16 mm diameter. So it perfectly fits onto the original motor mount without any modifications of the motor mount or the motor. Just can take the stock screws, 3 mm screws and screw the motor onto the motor mount. There was one little modification I had to do on this motor. The motor shaft is perfectly round. There is no flat spot to fix your screws of your coupler. So I sanded down the motor shaft at two spots to make the coupler cannot slip on the motor shaft. For this I had to wrap the whole motor in electric tape just to avoid during sanding to have some metal dust from the motor shaft in the motor on the magnets. Like this you keep the motor clean and after sanding you just can unwrap your motor and the magnets and everything inside the motor is perfectly clean. The second little modification is you get the motor without connectors. So I added uh, 4 mm gold bullet connectors. They work pretty fine and if you have the wrong motor direction in connecting the three motor cables to the ESC you just can switch to cables and then the motor direction is okay. The motor shaft of this motor is a 4mm shaft. What I also had to do is to change the coupler because the stock coupler is a 3.17 or 3.18 millimeter hole for the motor shaft and that doesn't work on this motor so i had to search for a coupler which works on this motor and i found the volantex atomic coupler which works pretty perfect what i like on this coupler is that it's absolutely symmetrical built so you have two screws on this coupler so it's perfectly balanced. On the coupler I also had to do a modification because I wasn't able to push the coupler deep enough onto the motor shaft so what I had to do is to grind down the rear end of the coupler which goes into the cooling and motor mount plate of the Choiceway rocket with this modification I was able to push the coupler completely onto the motor shaft so it's fixed well and there is no vibration from the coupler like this. The 3mm color you can see here is just for test runs. The reason is that I lost my last flex drive and prop and all the, the thrust bearing and the dog drive in a lake just because I had no color on it and the coupler I used was too weak for the power so the flex shaft slipped out of the coupler and the whole flex shaft went into the lake and was gone forever. 
So this collar is only to avoid the flex shaft slipping out of the hull and dives down into the lake. It was pretty tricky to get a new flex shaft which fits into the Choiceway Rocket 26. The only flex shaft I found was also from Volantex Atomic. It is a 3mm flex shaft and at the rear end you have a 4mm diameter to mount your prop, your dog drive, your bearings. I just had to sand down the end part around a one hundredth of a millimeter just to make the bearings fit onto the shaft. For this I took the flex shaft and put it into my drill and then let it spin and sand down the shaft a little bit just to make the bearings fit perfect on the shaft. The second modification on the shaft was important just because the shaft is way too long for this boat. The original shaft is I think around 27 centimeters or something and here you need way shorter shaft so I had to cut off around 7.5 centimeters of the shaft to make it fit perfect into the Choiceway rocket. But now it fits perfect and I am pretty happy that I actually found a flex drive which fit into this boat. For thrust bearing, dog drive and prop I used the same components as I had before. These are all AliExpress components. You can also find the links below in the video description. I like these parts. It makes a really smooth end of the flex drive. All the components have pretty much the same diameter so it looks clean and it's perfect in case of drag. The ESC is still the same I used for my last motor, it's the Flycolor 50 amp ESC. I know that this is pretty small ESC or weak ESC for this size of motor. We will see if this will work, it uh, can handle 300 amps burst. So I hope that for 2 or 3 seconds these 300 amps burst will be enough to handle 4S with this uh, 3500 kV and 800 watt motor. This is all about the latest modifications on my Choiceway Rocket 26. I'm pretty happy that the boat is ready to run again. Some test run footage will come up pretty soon. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye.